so I've been over the test garden in the settings I mentioned uh, we'll go through them in a minute I've got 1.11 on the test garden now what I've done so these are all the targets I've gone over with 1.11 with stock settings so with no IF and it will only hit so many so out of all those it'll hit one two three four five out of I haven't done the Roman side out of four eight twelve out of fifteen uh, now that shows that shows that if you're running an IF in this ground which is highly mineralized uh, with coke and there's iron everywhere uh, big piece of iron here is iron it's saturated with iron uh, it just shows you that if you're running an IF8 or you're running 1.05 or previous you're going to miss targets so we'll get to it what I'm going to do what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm just going to keep quiet I'm going to keep quiet I'm not going to put I'm just you can make you can make your own minds up so what I'm going to do I'm going to go through settings um, and then we'll do the test now there's loads of different settings we could go through and it could take forever I can tell you this that on 1.11 I can get tune the detector into this ground and I can get the legends to it every one of these um, but what we'll do we'll keep the settings exactly the same we know we can hit these coins and know exactly how deep they are the orientation uh, we had a bit of rainfall yesterday about 30 minutes worth of light rain uh, not much rain before that so the ground's quite hard uh, it is quite compact it has compacted over the last couple of years you can see where it's dipped down because obviously I dug it all out I cleaned a lot of stuff out of it because it was too much it was too much uh, and the air with the water everything's settled and some of the finds are coming out so yeah we'll do 1.11 on a target and 1.09 on a target one and so on and this is how I'm gonna do it so for example this is uh, a silver hammered really thin there's no there's no detail in it whatsoever so it's, it's the back it's the back set of the, the coin uh, so it's like tin foil folded over five times that's it seven to eight inches so it hits that and then what we'll do that's two inches and that's an inch so then we'll start adding these and sweep the coil over the top <clears throat> and see how high we get uh, and we'll do it for the Roman which is there seven to eight inches there's a copper half penny at 11 to 12 a bronze half penny at 10 a bronze penny at 12 and this is a silver sixpence at 10 now in this garden it's full of coke mineralized rock and it's full of trash it's, it's more like a park now it was really bad and I buried some at 7 inch I think it was a 2 pence piece and I couldn't hit it so I dug out I dug all that out about a foot 12 inches deep it was all piled up here piled up there and piled up over here the missus went absolutely berserk the neighbours were popping over the wall thinking what, what the bloody hell are you doing I says ah oh, I'm sick of her <laughs> I'm sick of her said I bury in that garden uh, so then I went through everything with a pinpoint and a detector and I took as much as I could out and tiny little nails, tack nails, tin foil, asbestos, you name it, everything has been chucked in this garden. So what I've done, I've I've cleaned it out. Now it's not like my permissions, but if I can get by messing with settings, if I can get the detector to hit targets in this test garden, I'm gonna have no problems on there so that's enough info I'm gonna do the test and then make your own mind up uh, 
at the end. It'll be nice to see myself. It's been a while since I did 1.09, and I, I don't even think I, I went over to Sescada. I would have, but why did I do a video? I'm not sure. We're going to factory default. Then I'll go through what the factory default settings are because there might be different parameters. So, yeah, let's do it. The settings are going to be sensitivity 25, field M1, two tone, zero ground balance, and we're going to keep noise cancel at one. So, I'm going to alternate the test results with the software. Um, this is 01.11 we'll go over to the factory reset factory resetted we will turn the back light on we will put it in ground field M1, sensitivity 25, and the stock settings are 5 recovery, IF8, everything else off, volume 3 will be fine, audio gain 3, stock setting, we'll go into 2 tone, volumes of 3 and 10, Pitches uh, 1 and 22, tone break is 11, threshold 0 and 10, but the volume is off, so the pitch won't sound. We'll keep it on 1 because there's no interference on uh, sensitivity 25 there, so we'll just keep it as it is. Uh, I do know from learning the E track that depending on the channel reciprocates into what frequencies are used now I haven't done that test with a legend but we'll just keep it the same um, ground balance sorry ground balance is at zero so let's get 1.09's parameters you can see there 1.09 uh, it will be factory defaulted but we will do a factory reset right let's turn the brightness up let's turn the volume up field ground I did have ground on last time, didn't I? Uh, 25 sensitivity. One on the noise cancel. Recovery five. IF8. It hasn't got a bottle cap or ground suppressor, which are great features. Uh, audio gains at three. Two tone. Three. And 10 volumes pitches 1 and 22 tone break 10 and there uh, as they are I've said 7 to 8 and 7 to 8 what we'll do we'll go off 8 so 8 inch hammered Ten inches. Twelve inches. Still listening. It. We'll do twelve and a half. 
will do 12 and a half. <sighs> I can just hear a whisper. What we'll do, we'll put the volumes right up on both five. Uh, yeah, it is a bit windy. Thirteen. I've actually had this hammered hit. Twelve and a half. I've actually hit this hammered uh, at ground level with sensitivity to ten. <laughs> Crazy depth on something so small. It's probably about it's probably about that big. So one point one one on the uh, 8 inch tiny Roman, really small, say about that big. Eight inches. Ten inches. Add these all over, but then thirties are coming in, which it should be. Twelve inches. One way hit, two way hit, very faint, we'll call that 12 inches. So 1.09 on the hammered, no problem, 8 inches, 9, 10. No problem. 12 Yep, got it 14 oh. This will beat the 1.11 if it gets this If it is half the same as just get it, it. so 1.11 on the uh, 8 inch tiny Roman, really small, say about that big. Eight inches. Ten inches. Add these all over, but then thirties are coming in, which it should be. Twelve inches. One way hit, two way hit, very faint, we'll call that 12 inches. Ten inches. Twelve inches. Very tiny little whisper. Now this is a twelve inch twelve inch is it? Twelve inch copper half penny.
ID is all over, but that is it. Let's raise this a bit. I need to get the longest mid shaft. Struggles because of the IF. With the IF tuned in, it gives great ID on that. If a ground balanced it a bit better than that as well. But well, that's that. Now, I said I weren't going to say anything, but what I think, what I think personally, there's not much in it. There's not much in it. It's the way you're setting it up. Um, because you're not digging stuff deep, it's just because you're not, you're not swinging over it deep. That's why the test garden will always be the best because I know how deep they are, I know they're there, I know where I can hit them, I know where I can't hit them. Um, but for me, for me personally, performance wise, they're very similar. But we'll carry on in a minute, I just want to get this in. I, I don't want to push favour to any, uh, they're both great. The thing that this has got, one, not this 1.11 has got over is the ability to get more things out of iron with the IF of zero and the ground stability is a very very good feature the ground suppressor up just two or three you're not losing much on performance and you can detect on lively ground it goes up to eight and then you've got your bottle cap now for beaches you'd love the bottle cap but I still use a little bit of bottle cap because it IDs iron better. If you if you find iron, put bottle cap up and you watch the ferris bar. Turn bottle cap off and there won't be anything. No iron on the ferris bar and it is iron that you're going over. Turn bottle cap to one or two and you'll start seeing the ferris coming up here. It IDs iron better. But let's carry on. I said I weren't going to be talk, didn't I? Right. This is that 12 inch copper. It's clipping because it's because of the IF that. 10 inch half penny bronze. No, nothing. I did get it it in one way. There. It's just coming in with the forties. The forty three. So it's just getting it but in one direction. I know the angles I can hit these in. There's that much high in, in the ground. Uh, this is the bronze uh, half penny, 10 inches. It did get it this way. We got a fartist round there somewhere, didn't we? Down there, yeah. See, I know what I know what angles it hits, and it's because of the iron formation. Now, with the iron filter on, you can hit it most ways. Um, so, one one on the twelve-inch penny. This is this is a hard one. It's not going to hit this. See the 43 coming then. 53, 47. That's it. That that is actually it. It's 12 inches, but 
you're not going to get it on a normal sweep you're not going to get not not with these settings not with these settings uh, this is the penny 12 inches Most of these you wouldn't dig, you'd have to hit it exactly the right angle and you'd have to have your ears tuned right in, you know, but the it is hitting it, this is what we're proving, it's not, oh, you, you wouldn't hit that in a field because you, you're swinging around, probably wouldn't, you'd hit the Hammond and the, the Roman, but these, you, would, you wouldn't necessarily hit if you, unless you was really tuned in, but it's still hitting it. On paper, it's still in that at that depth. This is something you can't do in the field. I spend hours and hours and hours on this test guard and tuning stuff in. So then, when I go out in the field, I know I've got set. I know what the performance is of this detector. I did it on 1.06. I had a bag dig. Uh, I want. I couldn't dig anything over four inches. Um, I come back, got it on test garden, uh, which I should have done beforehand, and realised it weren't in anything in the test garden. Um, and finally, the 10 inch, it might be 10, 11 inch, uh, the silver sixpence uh, Vicky, so 925. This has got to be the hardest test garden in the UK. So every time now, I any update, I'm on this. Because I know when it should hit it and when it shouldn't. Now it's dry ground. And what I do, what I what I do now, uh, there's loads of stuff. To, so in in my in my shed, I have dry iron and I have wet iron, and that's how I can tell that most of these tests that you see, it's done with dry iron, and it reacts totally different because it's more conductive. Um, I do tests like this, then I put the spr sprinkler on. You know, one of these water sprinklers. I'll put this on. I'll put this on for about two hours and this is like a, a lake in my back garden and I'll wait until the surface water goes that means that it's sunk down and then I'll test again uh, I've done it with ground balance and not ground balancing ground balance is better because uh, of the mineralisation in it uh, plus the deep stuff actually goes into the clay line if you look up clay it's actually a mineral highly mineralised so if you're going deep if you're going deep you need to ground balance on ploughed land on a deep plough the clay's brought back up the clay's brought back up the ground balance is there to block out the minerals uh, you'll get less depth you get less depth if, if you're not ground if you're not ground balancing uh, that, that's through science uh, i was going to say without saying too much of what i think because at the end of the day it's up to you it is up to you. Uh, I've got the facilities there to go over and test, and I, I've I've known uh, through extensive testing. Uh, plus, I just like having the iron turned right down to zero because I my land isn't full of iron. So why would I have a filter on an iron filter if I don't need it? Because it does not the performance of a detector. Um, so yeah. If, if you could do us a favour, uh, don't don't like, don't subscribe, I'm not asking for that. Uh, could you share, could you share this to some not to places groups and that, just so, I, I do a lot of videos and I share a lot, so I, I feel like I'm oversaturating my person, personally, uh, but I just want to get, I just want to get the word out, uh, plus don't forget, 
if you don't know and you should know because I've been pushing it and pushing it and pushing it I've got the Noctil Light uh, direct from uh, Noctil from Dilek uh, to a lucky subscriber uh, that's in a giveaway that's on the channel so yeah I hope that helps out uh, to me not much performance difference but feature difference uh, it's well worth the upgrade